everyone, so today I am doing a video on how to get the perfect lip application and I'm specifically using a red matte lipstick just because I find that that is the hardest colour and formula to really make look absolutely flawless. The biggest thing I run into with brighter lipsticks, especially matte lipsticks, is having a lot of lines all over my lips just because they're dry and crusty. <laughs> I know that's really, really delicious sounding. But those are the kind of things you really want to combat first of all to get Flaws lip application. So I have partnered up with Chapstick for this video. This is the Chapstick Jewel Ended Hydration Lock Lip Balm and it is a new lip balm unlike any other kind of lip product you would have seen before. So with each stick of Chapstick you get a Renew side and a Moisturize side and both sides have been clinically proven to give you healthier looking lips and that is exactly what we want. And it does come in two varieties so this one that I used in this video the Renew Moisturize and then it also comes in a day night formula. You can tell straight away from using this it really helps to make your lips both look and feel a lot healthier. Really helps to keep your lips looking younger and softer and smoother. So I am in love especially with matte lipsticks or any lipstick for that matter but especially matte. You know how drying they can be. It really 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 helps the comfort and the appearance of your lipstick. So it's basically perfect for dry lips. Perfect if you're traveling over the holiday period. Airplanes can really kind of dry out your lips and make them look really nasty. Use it alone or like me you can incorporate it into your flawless lip routine. So let me show you how I get this flawless red lip. So first up I like to take an old toothbrush and I use this to exfoliate my lips. So first of all just wet your lips a little bit and then gently massage the toothbrush over your lips to remove all of the dead skin cells and this is just going to help you know make your lips look a little bit smoother and get rid of all the gunky gross stuff off your lips. I know it's really gross but trust me it helps so much. Now we're using our Jewel Ended Hydration Lock by Chapstick to moisturize our lips. Starting with the Renew side which has a rich 100% naturals formula and it features butters like mango and shea which help your lips feel so soft and supple. This is going to create really soft smooth looking lips and really just help everything feel more comfortable once we apply our lipstick and everything. It almost acts kind of like a primer. I don't know if you guys saw my recent foundation routine but basically I really emphasize that moisturizing your skin is the most important part to a flawless finish foundation look and it's the same with your lips. Priming and you know moisturizing your lips is so important to get a really smooth beautiful application of lipstick. And then I like to wait a few minutes just to let the lip balm do its magic and when I'm ready to apply my lipstick I like to just blot my lips to make sure that they're nice and smooth and there's no excess product. Now that my lips are pricked and primed, I like to just take a little bit of my foundation that's left over on my foundation brush and just run that over my lips to kind of cancel out my natural lip colour a little bit, just so that any colour I put on top of my lips is more true to colour and more vibrant. My first tip when it comes to actually applying the colour on your lips is to use a lip liner. And using a lip liner will just really help you to get a really precise line, a really sharp line. And it'll help you map out your lip shape if you want to kind of define your lip shape, make them a little bit bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. So I like to do that first and also fill in my lips with the lip liner just to act as a base so that my lipstick lasts even longer. Now it's time to choose your lipstick. Um, I'm using this really awesome bright red on my lips today. So first off, I do like to just go in straight with the bullet and apply that to the center of my lips, just like you normally would. Um, but the trick is to, once you've done this, is take a little lip liner brush, or lipstick brush I should say, and really load up the product on that brush and apply it really precisely around the edges of your lips. This is going to give you a way sharper finish and it's going to build up the product around the cracks of your lips a little bit better and the fine lines and everything like that. It'll just create a really plump, full effect. Once my application is looking really nice and perfected, I like to use this, as you can see, on top of the lipstick as well. And this just helps to create a really smooth, soft feeling again, which is perfect for pairing up with drier matte lipsticks. And then I just wipe my chapstick off with a bit of a tissue, just so it looks brand new again. 
The next step is to clean up your lips even more. You want the most sharp, amazing line you can get. So to get a really, really sharp, precise line, I'm using a small brush and some concealer around the outside of my lip. And you can see by watching how much more perfect the shape looks when I do this. And you can do this with any color lipstick. It doesn't matter if it's a matte lipstick or a glossy lipstick or anything. It really, really helps to get a really beautiful line and makes your lips stand out and look super kissable and beautiful. Next, to really create a really flawless look that's going to last all day, I like to blot my lipstick on a tissue. And what this does is it removes any excess clumpy product on your lips and really just leaves behind the color so it's not going to be all goopy and uncomfortable to wear. If you want even more lasting power, you can take a little lip sealer like this one here and you just apply this all over your lips and let it air dry and it really helps to set the product so it doesn't come off and it will last so much longer. It, that's how you get perfect kissable red lips. These last me all day long, like barely have to touch up. I do take my lipstick and my chapstick with me throughout the day just in case I need to touch up if I eat some oily food or anything like that. And the little chapstick trick over top of your lipstick just totally helps with the dryness because I can't stand having dry lips. That's why I usually veer away from matte lipsticks. But just applying a little bit of chapstick over your red lipstick isn't going to affect like the way it looks, especially if you follow these steps, but it just makes it so, like it makes your lips so smooth. I hope this video and my tips kind of helped you guys out. Let me know if you try it. I'd love to see your photos on Instagram. Make sure you hashtag lips first and hashtag so I can go have a browse and go like some of your photos. Have an amazing day and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.